What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Lovresich from Pixel Feet here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up UTM parameters for your Facebook ads campaigns. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So you have finally started to run Facebook ads, or you have finally started to scale your Facebook ad campaigns. Now, what you're seeing on your dashboard inside your Facebook ads doesn't match the sales that you have in your store. We all seen that happen multiple times because Facebook is not 100% accurate when it comes to tracking all of the sales and all the conversions on their end. Or let's say you're starting to scale your accounts using uh, multiple advertising platforms like Google Analytics or Pinterest, Snapchat, TikTok, and you don't know where the sales are coming from. Sometimes you, you get what we call organic lift. So you want to be able to measure all that stuff inside your Google Analytics. And in order to do that, you got to set up these things that are called UTM tags. So what are UTM tags? A UTM code is a snippet of a simple code that you can add at the end of the URL. I'm sure you guys have seen it. When you go to a URL, you go, you go to share an URL and it's like super long. There's a question mark and it's super long after that. That's what we call a UTM tag or a UTM URL. UTM stands for Urchin Traffic Monitor. And I don't care where the name comes from, so I'm going to move on. But it's basically what we use to track your campaign so we know exactly where everything's coming from. So I'm going to show you how to set it up properly, how you can see it all in analytics, and how you can even see it inside your Shopify stores, right? So let's do this. So I have a dummy campaign here on my test account, and I'm going to go to the ad level. So we get to the ad level, and let's say you create your ad, you set everything up, your ad's ready to go, like you can see in here. Well, when you scroll all the way down, you're going to see here where it says build a URL parameter, okay? If you already have your URL parameter, your tag ready to go, you will just go ahead and paste it here if it's ready to go. If you need to build it, to build it like most of you here, you will click build a URL parameter. Now it brings up this window and it's asking you to fill out the fields in the form below to add the parameters to your website URL to automatically get information from your campaign, ad set or ad. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I set it up. So the options are campaign source, campaign medium, campaign name, campaign content. Okay, this is how we break down each step of the campaign. You know how you have your campaign, your ad set and your ad? This is how we identify them. And we can even create custom parameters here. So the way that I like to do it is, I will name the source. So in this case, our source is Facebook. So I would just name it Facebook, right? Campaign medium, right? I like to do campaign name because I want my campaign name in that order. So I have Facebook, then I have my campaign name. Then I know it says campaign name here. It's going to confuse some of you, but I'm going to show you why I do it this way. So here I'm going to do ad set name. So now I have my ad set name. So again, source Facebook. What's next after that? My campaign name, my ad set name. And what do I want here? I want my ad name right and then here's what i want to know next i want to know which of my placements are converting best so i will add a parameter here and i will call it add placement and i will go here and i will just click placement that way i know if right hand side column is performing better than the news feed or you know whatever placement is working best i want to know which placement is working best now this is the way i personally do it that doesn't mean that you have to do it this way you can actually go in here you can name this however you want whatever it's easier for you i know people who just use numbers because they have they run so many ad sets and so many campaigns that they just use basically serial numbers to identify everything if you don't want to do ad placement you can do something else you can add another one here i mean you can make it as long as you want or you can just replace it so you can get rid of that ad parameter and then you can choose you know ad set id campaign id you know campaign name again if you want that but i don't know why you would do that so basically i'm trying to tell you that you can do anything you want here okay that's an optional and you can add more than a few if you need to now when you set this up what you have here is the the actual utm tag so if you read it now when you look at other people's ads in the browser and when you share a link you can tell what's going on by reading the tag so it's pretty self-explanatory utm source meaning what's our source facebook utm medium meaning what's our medium it's going to be a campaign name so the campaign name is going to show here then utm campaign we want the ad set name to show here so it's going to show the ad set name and then the content is going to show the ad name so you do that you will click apply 
and then it's going to add the link here. And then if you want to move faster in the future, when you're duplicating and stuff like that, you can just copy this and you can just paste it into the new campaign. All right. So now that we have our tag, how do we view our results? How do we know where everything's coming from? Well, you have to have a Google Analytics account set up. So we will go to Google Analytics. You go to acquisition, you go to campaigns, you go to all campaigns, and now it's going to show you all of your campaigns based on the tags that you assign. So now you know which campaign is bringing you the most sales and you can have a better accurate viewing of what your sales are actually are. Now, if you're running email from Klaviyo or you're running traffic from other platforms, if you haven't properly tagged with UTM tags, you're going to see that. So as you can see here, abandoned cart email two, abandoned cart email one. So now you have a better picture of where your sales are coming from. Let's say, remember how we tagged like, you know, the, where they're, uh, where the placements so we can see the placements. We'll click medium here. And now I have my placements. Where are they converting the most? So in this case is the mobile feed. On this case is the right hand column. So you guys get the idea. Not only can you see all of this stuff in analytics, but you can also see it inside your Shopify store. So if you go to your Shopify store and I have one store pulled up here, you go to your orders and you go to, a, to whatever order number you want. And you scroll down right here, you're going to see this little window that says conversion summary. And you can click here and hit conversion details. It's going to tell you the amount of sessions this person has done, how many days to conversion, and they're telling you where they're coming from because now we have UTM tags. You guys see what it says via UTM? Boom. Now I have my UTM. It gives me the campaign name, the source, the medium, and the content. So now you have a better accurate picture of where all your sales are coming from. So you can put reports together and you can properly scale all of your accounts, all your platforms at the same time and know where all your sales are coming from. Guys, if you like that video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Help support the channel. And if you want to keep learning about Facebook ads, digital marketing, Shopify, e-commerce, anything marketing related, make sure to check out one of the boxes right above me. And I will see you guys in the next video.